Hi guys, I'm Daddy Freeze, convener of the Free the Sheeple Movement and leader of the Free Nation in Christ. I greet you and I bring glad tidings. A bit of good news this morning. I just read an article uh, on Channel's website that says, Sylvester or Romani, three Darwin students are currently in our custody, police commissioner. Hmm, Nigerian police. Eh? When I don't do Rambo, when I don't make me proud in. Now so it's supposed to be. Nobody's above the law. Let us see how this investigation comes. I'm proud. I'm proud of our police, um, of the Nigerian police. I'm, I'm overjoyed that this is actually a conversation we're having. It's not like some rich billionaire somewhere is trying to stifle uh justice I, for the first time in a few days i'm actually smiling with regards to this um sylvester case when i showed this to taste buds she was like oh, thank god big shout out to akimo dumosu big shout out to the nigerian police system now it's not just to carry them and then die the matter or no as now don't use rambo start now james bond now go continue to the use oh make with day here they praise you no use rambo start call use nigeria hand finish oh make this matter get conclusion no when i don't try so far so i'm very happy with this development let's get to the bottom of this issue Another issue that brings me joy is the fact that Sylvester's family is represented in this case by Femi Fallon, a foremost uh, lawyer, um, senior advocate of Nigeria, his learned silk. Uh, and I'm, I, I'm confident that with a lawyer um, of such class, they would be able to get justice. And I'm beginning to see a new Nigeria, a Nigeria where there's justice for all. A Nigeria where the downtrodden can actually speak out and be heard. I am proud to be part of this emerging new Nigeria where the wealthy don't stifle the mouths of the, um, the downtrodden with their money or their political wherewithal. This is the Nigeria I want to live in, and I'm beginning to see it hatch out of the egg. I hope this hatching is not going to be aborted, and I hope the chick hatches out completely, and we become like those developed nations we all try to run away to, like Canada, the United States, and the United Kingdom, and many parts of Europe. I'm happy. I'm a father. No father ever prays to go through what Sylvester's father went through. No father. Most fathers would even rather that they took their lives than their children. You, it, it's even for a grown child. If you have a child that's like 30 and that child passes on, you can't be okay, let alone a 12-year-old boy. Because of the failure of our system. And if that bullying is truly the case, and this school could do nothing about it, I am of the firm opinion, even though it's personal and I'm entitled to it, that Doan College should not operate again. If this was a case of bullying, and they could do nothing to stop it, they are not going to do it now. And every single school, I want parents to come out and talk. If your child's ever been bullied, come and speak out now. How did your school handle it? I remember when my son had a case of bullying. The school handled it in such a brilliant manner. I was proud. My daughters also went to Caleb. They never reported bullying incidents. That's another school that I, I'm really happy with with regards to bullying. Because we had our kids there and they did well. But you see all these uh, schools where there are too many rich people's children and the school fees is... is, is 
like I said, anybody can charge anything he wants for whatever he wants to do. That's your business. But when it now comes with a lapse in security, it comes ready-made, like factory-fitted, with a lapse in security to the point where a child can be bullied to the point of losing their lives in or within the premises of your school. If this truly were the case, because right now the police is investigating, and I, I, we all are waiting with bated breath to see what the outcome of this investigation would be. And I must tell you that if bullying were the underlying problem in this case, I personally do not see the need for this school to continue in operation and continue endangering the lives of students. Unless bullying was not the case, then they are free to operate. But as long as it is bullying, and they could do nothing about it, and they also could not come out and offer proper statements and put the minds of not just Lagosians but parents in the whole country. This, this, this has become a high-profile case that the whole country is interested in. No, in my humble opinion, the school could, could have done so much better. Or maybe it's the fact that they are not so good at managing social media. Okay, we'll leave it to them and allow the police to continue their investigation. So many stories came out today regarding children. We also remember, what's the, babe, what's the name of that lady you were talking about? The young lady, Karen. Another child, another story today. Another story today. The one in the cooler, a Seven child was sent, a seven-year-old was found in a cooler. You see, how did we degenerate to this point of lovelessness? We have, we have five to ten churches on every street. We are more religious than almost any nation on earth. And where is the love? If you guys don't think our religious system is the first point of questioning, the first point of failure, then I think we need to have a rethink. If religion is meant to promote love, and that love is absent, so glaringly so, then the religious system has failed us. How I, I'm sure all these boys, if this bullying story were true, I'm acting on the premise that this bullying story is true, if it were true, you'd be amazed that these boys all go to church every Sunday. What are they teaching them? You'd be amazed that their parents are high-ranking church officials or high-ranking members of whatever religious body they belong to. And if that were the story, what are you teaching these children? If these boys were found guilty, my humble opinion, they deserve lengthy jail sentences. And not only should it serve as a punitive measure, it should also serve as a deterrent for future offenders. Let them understand the long-lasting effects of bullying and its many consequences. These boys, if found guilty, should be made into scapegoats. Because... Raising the next generation of leaders, political, religious, and in whatever way or form has been thrust upon us. And we must diligently see to it that we raise an army of loving, caring future leaders. It is very sad that Sylvester is going to be the one that is going to put out the blueprint for a future totally devoid of bullying. A future where love will be the selling point. A future where parents will feel secure to send their children to school 
You put a living child in school and you're going to go and pick a living child. So once again, I appreciate Akim Odumosu and the Lagos State Police team for doing a good job. And I hope that this momentum is maintained. And I hope justice is served. Thank you all and stay blessed.